Oh, there's two. Look, there's another one. Little lizard party. Look at him go. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're doing an old school photo walk with this awesome little camera, the Minolta AF-C. I am a big fan of point and shoots and a big fan of the Nikon L35 AF. And I was chatting to Cameron who runs the online store selling cameras. And he suggested that I try this out because he thought I'd really like it. So he sent it over, which is so nice. Thank you so much. Thanks for sponsoring this video. So the Minolta AF-C is kind of like a cross between an XA and a Nikon L35 AF, which are two cameras that are very cool. Um, one of the features that makes it similar to the XA is the modular flash on the side. So overall, it's a pretty small, like compact camera, even with the flash. But when you take it off, which you just wind this little thing here, comes off. You can see like how small and pocketable the camera is for like a daily carry. Uh, and then having the option of like popping the flash on for like nighttime shoots is really, really cool. Um, it also means that if the flash capacitor died, which can happen sometimes with these like older point and shoots, the camera wouldn't be not working. <laughs> the camera wouldn't be completely like useless because that has happened to me before and like that's not really something you can fix. So um, yeah, I think it's like a great little addition. So um, as it is a nice sunny day, I'm gonna load this up with some XR100, which is my favorite film of all time. Nice blue skies. Uh, I'm gonna pop the flash in my bag and I'm just gonna roll with it like this. Super cute, super small, so light, like so good for just like a daily carry camera. Um, really excited to see the results from this. Um, it is a pretty simple camera overall, but I'll talk about it as we're kind of walking. We'll do like a walk and talk. Oh, I didn't wind. Always forget that with these. Cool. Oh, nice. So this is actually my second roll through this camera. I took it with me on a recent trip where it just rained the whole weekend, total washout, really disappointing. Um, but I did manage to get a roll through it. It was just Ultramax and I had the flash on, which was really handy. Yeah, I shot a whole roll there and yeah, I'll put up some of the photos so you guys can see. Yeah, so I think that's one of the great things about these cameras or any camera with like a built-in flash like that um, is that it makes it really versatile. Like the light was really dull and it was raining, but I think the flash would have mitigated that and like made the photos look really cool. Um, but then today, super sunny and I'm just like rocking with it like this and it's like so light and easy to carry around. So yeah, I have high hopes for this camera. So I'm really hoping that the photos deliver. Yeah, it's a little bit like you think you've wound it on, but you've got to keep going. Ends up hurting your thumb. I always find that with these. Slight downside. <laughs> get, my, get, my, get my joke rear on. <laughs> it's making film photography accessible. <laughs> Actually though. 
Oh, there's more lizards. <laughs> He's coming for me. <laughs> Welcome to the lizards and jet skis episode. This is kind of nice. The blue. This is a really good spot, actually. We've never been to this spot, um, and I pretty much like hit up most places now um, on the Gold Coast. But um, yeah, we've we've never shot here before, so I'm definitely going to come back with like an SLR so I can get some like tighter crops and um, like you know different angles of stuff because point and shoots can be limited. Um, but yeah, it's nice to just be like you know rolling just with this. Yeah, this looks really cool. So I think another thing worth mentioning with like these cameras, they, they're like, you know, nearly 40 years old now, which is pretty crazy that we can still use them. Um, but when they're all plastic, like you want to be kind of careful. I can be quite heavy handed with everything. Um, so I would suggest when you're popping down like this little panel here, just using both, both hands to do so. Um, and then with these uh, wheel kind of winders, like I think just, you know, don't be like smashing it like I just was. Um, just be, yeah, nice and careful. And like, we should take care of our film cameras and, um, you know, be thankful that like they're working like, you know, in 2022. So this little camera has the same specs as the L35 AF, which you all know that I love so much. Um, it's a 35 millimeter uh, lens, 2.8 aperture. Um, so pretty good for a point and shoot and um, autofocus, manual rewind. And another cool feature similar to the L35 is you can manually set the ISO, which opens up a lot of creativity for like pushing and pulling film. And that's not something that you get on a lot of point and shoots. So I think that's a, um, a really like winning feature of this. Um, I'm fairly sure that this is going to be a lot cheaper than an L35 AF as well. So if you have been kind of eyeing one of those off, this could be a good kind of like more budget option. And I think Cameron has a couple in stock on his site at the moment. So you can jump over there and you can use my code Lucy10 at checkout and get 10% off all of the film cameras that he has um, for sale and support a small business that's keeping film photography alive as well. I got really bad hay fever today. This always happens when we film. Cool. It's kind of a bit of flare, but. Should look good because the sky is so blue, it looks so good on Ektar. <laughs> Gonna get that vertical footage for those reels for Instagram. <laughs> So I just want to say a huge thank you to Cameron, the owner of Selling Cameras, for sending me this. It's so nice to be teaming up with and like pairing up with other people that are like keeping film photography alive and are in, you know, small businesses like that. And I think it's really important that we support them. Um, I do have a podcast episode where I interviewed him so you can hear a little bit more about his backstory. Um, and check out his website. It's really fun and like colorful and kind of just like really fits my vibe as well. And I love that. As I'm sure you guys know, a lot of point and shoots are getting like really crazy expensive, including the L35 AF. And I think this uh, little AFC is kind of a, a good L35 AF alternative. Um, and yeah, still not super, super expensive. Um, and I think like the flash attachment really adds something, the manual ISO. So definitely go check them out on Cameron's site and um, don't forget my code as well. That will get you 10% off 
all of the cameras and he does like weekly drops. So he's always uploading like new cameras to the site. I might also get a shot of these like palm trees. They look really cool, like the way there's two of them. Oh, this is why. <laughs> All right, so I finished my roll. I'm super excited to see the shots and it's been really nice going back to this like old style of photo walk and like approaching you guys out in the field rather than just at home in the studio doing like a talking head video. So yeah, really looking forward to doing more of these on the channel and getting back into it. If you wanna hear my thoughts on the photos and like more of my thoughts on like, you know, this whole process, then sign up to my memberships. You can hit the button that says join. Don't forget to hit up uh, Selling Cameras. Go check out his website. Go say hi on Instagram, give him a follow and use that code Lucy10 to get yourself a new film camera, which is what we all want. <laughs>